Hi everyone, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Search and Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, for those who are viewing me for the first time, welcome. If you've been, you know, with me for quite some time, thank you for supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Also like the video so the messages can circulate for those who really need to hear it. Very important that you do that, please. Um, so this is a love reading, folks, okay? Um, I'm going to do three parts to this reading. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm doing this January 2022. Happy New Year, by the way. But you're more than welcome to look at it later, you know, because it may resonate later, you know. So basically, it's, you know, pretty much timeless, in my opinion. You know, um, it is what it is. If if it's meant for you to hear it now, it's meant for you to hear it now. If it's meant for you to hear it later, then so be it. So the three parts to this reading is... Um, sex language okay so i'm going to go into the sex language between you and this person whether you know you've had you know intimate relations with this person or not i don't know but i am talking to people who already know this person okay it's not for people who don't know who i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i mean like you already know this person in some shape form or other co-worker friend ex lover crush you already know this person okay um and um you know so i'm gonna go into the sex language first so if you guys resonate with that in some shape form or other then you know listen to the next message which is what's next in the connection all right so i'm gonna go into what's next into the connection that would be the second part to the reading and then um for the last part of the reading i'm gonna go into your spiritual connection with this person is it a high vibrational spiritual connection um, is it low vibrational? I don't know what I'm going to pick up. Um, but just so you know, I'm going to be using my sexual magic tarot um, for the first part of the reading. Then for the second part of the reading, I'm going to use the Rider Waite Smith and my Mermaid Tarot. And for the last part of the reading, I'm going to use my Black Tarot. Um, I only really use these for my Hidden Occult Tarot, but I thought it would be so interesting to incorporate it into this reading since, since I do want to pick up some form of spiritual past life. I don't know what I'm going to pick up, but you know, whatever it is that you two have that is so spiritual, um, could be karmic. I don't know. Um, but you know, I'm going to go into that, um, for the last part of the reading. Okay. You can look at your rising sun, moon, Venus placements. That's totally up to you. If this particular message does not resonate, like if you're looking at your sun sign and it and it, and it doesn't resonate, please look at your other placements. Um, you know, if you don't know your birth chart, I do have a banner um, on my. Um, I do have a, a link on my banner and in and another link on my about page that takes you to Cafe Astrology. Um, of course, you just have to put your date of birth, the time you were born, if you know it. If you don't, that's fine. Just don't look at your rising sign, but um, you'll get your other placements, okay? All right. So again, it's a love reading for those who already know this person in some shape, form, or other. Um, three parts to this reading, Aries through Pisces. It will be timestamped. You will see the timestamp in the description box. And um, that's it. I guess let's get started, right? Um, Aries, you're first. <clears throat> So hi Aries, happy new year. Um, I am doing this, <laughs> my first speed read of the year. So I hope it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, look at your other placements. I'm gonna start with your sex language with this person. What is your sex language with this person? If it resonates, perfect. Just stick around to see what's next in the connection. So I have the chariot and the ace of wands very strong sexual energy between you two uh and it's such an aries energy it's not even funny um some of you may have cancer in your chart so cancer placement um i see here with the chariot i do see also the ace of wands so fire energy aries leo sagittarius if that means anything to you but the energy here is hot heavy and passionate now does that mean that you two have had sex i feel like you guys haven't 
I don't know why I'm sensing that you guys haven't, but there's been a lot of, um, you know, um, passion, you know, exchange between you two, whether it's through communication, through touch, looking at each other's pictures, I don't know. But um, I almost feel for a lot of you, you haven't had like intercourse with this person yet. Um, and if you did, maybe it was like once or twice, you know what I mean? It was very, very little. It's nothing that was ongoing from what I see here. Um, I think you guys are like, some of you may be in another relationship with another person, you know what I mean? And, and, and you're connected to this person anyways. I don't know why um, that, you know, you would know that more than me. That doesn't resonate for all of you, but I do see that some of you are in a already in another union, whether it's you or your person, but you still have this connection, this passionate, hot, heated connection <laughs> um, with this person, Aries. Um, your sex language between this person, too, is um, very... Um, Oh God, what's that energy? It's so um, nurturing. Interesting because I do see cancer energy here, but you know, it doesn't have to be um, because someone has cancer placement. I just see it because, you know, someone here has this very nurturing side to them. It could be the mutual energy between you two. It could be, you know, um, separately. Like you're just, you guys are just nurturing people by nature. Um, with the chariot and the ace of wands okay all right so let's see what's next in this connection wow super interesting so i have the ten of cups six of pentacles and two of cups um so earth and waters is strong here Air, um sorry um what is this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if that means anything to you. Um, some of you um, like have a family apart from this relationship, you know? Some of you may already have children from a previous relationship. Now, I had mentioned earlier, somebody here may still be connected to the other person, whether is it because you share children in common with this person or not, I don't know. But you would know that more than me. I almost feel like that that's for the majority of you. Like you just share children with someone else and then you meet this other person that you have, um, that you're inquiring about, right? Um, but nonetheless, um, for the rest of you who don't share children with other people or, you know, an, an, another person, um, you know, this relationship has, um, I've seen like ups and downs with this relationship. Um, between the Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and, and, and Two of Cups. Now, especially with the Six of Pentacles here, being here, like this is where I see like the ups and downs. Like, you know, um, somebody here could be, you know, a little clingy or possessive. I don't, I don't know why I'm picking that up with the Six of Pentacles, but that's not for all of you. Um, but I see here that, um, that you've got, you guys have your ups and down moment. Like you may talk when, you know, constantly and then not talk you know, um, for several days or several weeks. I don't, I don't know, um, whether you're, you're upset with each other or not that, that I don't know. Maybe you can't because again, like I see it in the sense, another relationship for a lot of you. So maybe you, you know, you're either long distance or you can't talk to each other in that manner. Um, you know, it's like one of those, um, you may, I don't know why I just heard affair. You may have had, had an affair with this person. Um, but anyway, the point is that, um, you guys have your ups and downs. Um, but, you know, from what I'm seeing here with um, what's next in this relationship is that there is a union happening, okay? Let's not get it twisted. I still got the Ten of Cups here, Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups here. And um, I feel that it's going to go to the next level for a lot of you, like, you know, whatever the next level is for you, you know what I mean? Like if it, if you were just dating this person, this person may end up being your next person, like your, you know, your next commitment. If you're already in a commitment with this person, you may end up having children, um, getting married, having a family, moving in together with the Ten of Cups. 
Um, some of you may work with this person or met this person at work. Um, but I also see like um, you two ha have very like-minded um, business. Um, like you, you guys have, um, you either guys have like the same goals or ambition when it comes to business or career, finance, same ideas or something like that. You guys may work at, you know, at a um, location where, you know, you both hold the same position and, you know, you met through your job, um, but you guys have that in common, you know, where you, you worked at the same company or something like that, you know? Uh, but that's not for all of you, obviously. So let's find out, um, lastly, what is your spiritual connection with this person? What is your spiritual connection with this person? Very interesting to know um, because we all have some form of spiritual connection with someone, right? A lot of us do. Um, but what comes out of it, I don't know. Let's see what's going to come out of your spiritual connection with this person. All right, I got two. <clears throat> so I have um, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups, two nine ninety nine. dollars um, Some of you might have been born in 1999. So you're in your 20s. <laughs> I feel right yeah you're in the, your 20s um but that doesn't have to be 99 could have been you know the year 99 could have been significant for you um you know 99 life path nine um somebody may have strong ninth house placement but interesting because ninth house placement has to do with spirituality so um again we have water and a water and um fire sign here so aries leo sagittarius Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you know when I said that you guys have like ups and downs together? Remember I said that with the Six of, Cup, um, six of Pentacles? I was like, you guys might have had your ups and downs. And it doesn't have to be so dramatic. For some of you, some of you might have been a little, you know, dramatic. Some of you was just like, you know, it, it is what it is. We're not talking right now for whatever reason that may be. Um, I sense like um, you two have a past life together. There's definitely a past life with you two. I think that you might have gone through the same situation with the ups and downs in a past life with you, um, with um, your person. Um and it's and you're repeating the same cycle again in this lifetime with the nine of wands and the nine of cups your spiritual connection i feel is to really um uplift people interesting and i feel like you two have to do this together there's something about you two where you're meant to uplift people um and these can be people that are um you know, in really poor health, um, in some shape, form, or other, that could be physically, emotionally, mentally, I don't know. Um, you could be in, in some you know, entertainment, in, you know, so if you're an entertainer of some sort, you know, um, you may uplift people with your um, talents, your skills, um, you know, whether you're acting, um, writing, um, you're a musician, you're um, some form of creator, author um but um you like someone here either you or this person maybe both of you um are in that sort of field in this lifetime um and, and it's really just to uplift people with um this this um this high vibration, this high frequency that you carry. And and I feel like for both of you, you have that together. Like, it's like you, both of you need each other to give off this high frequency. Like if it was just separate, you guys could still give off that, you know, beautiful frequency and uplift people. But together has a team, has a team, oh my God. You guys could do wonders. And I, I think I might have mentioned that you two may have a business together or maybe you're meant to do something in this lifetime. Um, I don't know. Business is really coming up for you two. But um, yeah, that is your spiritual connection with this person. Okay. All right. I hope that made sense. 
All right. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next sign. Taurus. Hi, Taurus. So Taurus, um, I'm going to do three parts to this. Please look at your rising sun, moon, Venus placement. If it doesn't, you know, um, resonate, like if this is not resonating for you. If it does in some shape, form or other, just, you know, you can still look at your other placements for more of an in-depth message. So I'm going to go into the sex language between you and this person. Then I'm going to go into the connection between you two, like what's next in this connection. So you know this person already. I don't know how, but you do. So I'm not talking to people that don't know this person. Um, then lastly, I'm going to go into your spiritual connection. What is your spiritual connection with this person? Do you have a spiritual connection with this person? Is it positive or negative? Let's find out. All right, so... Um, I have here the Sun card and the Queen of Pentacles. They both come out, came out in the reverse, but strong Leo placement um, or Earth, um, if that means anything to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So your sex language with this person, whether you've had you know intimate relations with this person or not. Um, let's see. Look, I'm hearing time. Ever heard that song by Madonna? Oh my God, time. Time. Hung up. It, the song is called Hung Up. Um, time moves. Oh God. Time goes fast so slowly. Is that what she says? Time goes fast so slowly. I don't. I don't even know what she says. Um, but it feels like it, it's time is going slow for you too. I don't know why. There's maybe somebody here may be impatient. Maybe someone here, you know, can't wait to see the other person. So maybe that's that's the impatient. Like it's like time goes by. That's. I'm sorry. That's what it is. Time goes by so slowly. Thank you. <laughs> Time goes by so slowly. Um, yeah, I don't know if that resonates for you guys, um, that, that song. If it does, beautiful. But you may want to hear the song in case. But, like, I'm just hearing that song. Like, um, time goes by so slowly with the sun and the queen of pentacles. So, you guys, I feel like, you know, for some of you, for some of you, you've you know, have made love to this person so slowly, <laughs> right? That's how you make love sometimes, right? I think it's like a slow action. <laughs> um, it's some type of slow pace, um, you know, situation. But, you know, you may be slow kissers. You guys may be, you know, um, really, um, like, you guys touch each other a lot physically, you know? Like, you know, caress each other, massage each other, touch each other's hair or um you know skin somebody here may give someone foot massages or back massages neck massages here but there's something so sensual about you too which is such a Taurus energy um for the rest of you who have not had sex with this person in some shape, form, or other, um, I feel like the connection is going so slow, but you guys are so into each other. It's not even funny. Like, it's hot and passionate. I got the sun card here. It's, like, hot. This is hot. Caliente. <laughs> Sorry, Taurus. I'm, like, drinking my coffee, and it's, I have it in this tin container this whatever you call this thermal thermal i don't like the smell of it anyway um moving on enough about me yeah so if that makes sense you know you know just listen up to what's going on with your connection okay so let's see what's next in your connection with this person uh, all right taurus so I have here the Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Strong water sign. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I also have the Wheel of Fortune here. So strong out, strong Sagittarius placement. If that means anything to you, it doesn't have to be. But this is interesting. So I got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And I, I just said 
time moves by so slowly. A time goes by so slowly, right? With that song. Because um, the Wheel of Fortune does represent some time, whether it's destiny, whether it's, you know, um, um, just time, whether it's, you know, going back to the past or, you know, moving on from a situation. But, you know, it, I just feel like some of you are impatient. Um, like some of you want, like, either to really connect with this person like really bad you know some of you may i like i'm almost hearing the word obsession not for all of you but i also like i almost feel like there's some form of obsession um either you know going on with you or this person or with each other um but it's this 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 um bottled up energy this bottled up passionate energy that you two carry for each other um i love that the ace of cups and the um and the knight of cups was here but with the wheel of fortune i don't see the connection going far not right now um because it was in the reverse so you know I'm going to say, because there is two two stories to this connection, to see what, like, as far as what's next to this connection. What I'm seeing here for some of you is that, you know, if you want your person, if you're like, yeah, I, I'm like, Leonor, I'm trying to really hook up with this person. <laughs> but for some reason, you 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 can't. I don't know whether it's, do you have to wait another week, another month to see this person? Do you have to, um... You know, do, are you waiting for this person to, you know, um, make a move on you, you or vice versa? I don't know. I, I just feel like it's not going to happen anytime soon. You know, it doesn't mean that it won't. Um, I feel like it's just like not right now. I don't know why. Could be, I, but you, I feel like you know this more than me. I, I don't feel like it. I just honestly, I'll tell you the truth. It has nothing to do with this person. It's not because this person is not ready to do anything with you. Or, you know, it's not because this person is not um, into you. Because that's not what I see here. That's not what I see here. This person is so fucking into you. It's just that, you know, um, you know, the wheel of destiny is in the reverse. And the wheel of destiny is saying, not right now. There's something external that's stopping this relationship from moving forward. Okay. All right. Let's see what your spiritual connection is with this person. I'm going to use my black you know, um, tarot here. Pick up any other energies. Yeah, see, some of you may live in a long distance from each other. Um, with the high priestess and the world especially. Um, some of you just really, there's something getting in the way that's, ex again, external. Could be the events and circumstances happening in current events. Um or in your region, um, could be personal, you know, that you have nothing, there's nothing you could control. You can't control the situation or what's happening in your personal life or this person, or this person's personal, personal life, you know, and, and, um, you know, unfortunately right now the relationship is not going to move forward. Um, with the high priestess in the world here, wow, very strong Pisces energy. Um, doesn't have to be, but, um, the energy here is crazy. Somebody here can manipulate energy. Either with their mind, I'm sensing more so with their mind. Somebody here is a, a manipulator of energy. Could be the both of you, but I, I sense it's more one than the other. You two come from the spirit realm. I feel like you two have met in the spirit realm. Like, I don't know if you guys had a past life connection. Um, meaning, like, I don't know if you guys were... You know what I'm sensing here? This is what I'm sensing. Now it makes sense. 
<coughs> excuse me, with the world card here, um, you see these two lines here? Like, I, like, you guys don't come from this, like, somebody here comes from a different galaxy. I, it could be both of you, it could be one of you. Like, somebody here either comes from the, you know, um, again, a different star system or, um, different galaxy or, um, both of you coming from the same star system or galaxy. I don't know. I'm saying, I'm seeing something very far here with the world. Um. And you might have crossed path on your way to reincarnating to this earth. Does that make sense? Like someone here might have been reincarnated on this earth, right? Someone here. Let me just do this slowly. Because <laughs> it gets really crazy when it gets, gets to this part. Someone here does not come from this galaxy. They were not incarnated on this earth. At least when you two, you know, as far as you two are concerned, as far as you two, if you have been on this earth before, I don't know, congratulations. But as far as you two are concerned, um, someone here already, they, you guys come from a different star system. The other person does not. The other person is a very much earth energy. They already have been incarnated on this earth, you know, a couple of times or so. I don't sense too much, but definitely, you know, whatever. There's been more than one lifetime here on this earth. On your way over here from the spirit realm, right? On your way over here to reincarnate again, again, into this world, into this earth, into this physical plane, you guys crossed path in the spirit realm. These are your energies, both of you. And you're incarnated into this earth. You met in this. This is this is like you guys connecting in the spirit realm. And I don't know what conversations you had with each other, but I'm almost sensing that there is a soul contract between you two. Um, especially with the high priestess being here, somebody could be very intuitive. I did say I did mention somebody here could manipulate energy. And I don't know how. I, I don't know how. I, there's so many ways to manipulate energy. So I'm not even going to go into that because I'm trying to make it a speed read here. But, um, you know, somebody here could be psychic or very clear cognitive. Um, dreams. I'm picking up dreams. Um, obviously with the high priestess um, here, which is a water sign energy anyway. Um, but, Yeah. That is your spiritual connection with this person, all right? I'm going to stop there. I would love to go into more <laughs> of that energy because it's really beautiful. But um, whatever your soul contract is with this person, you two have one. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's different stories for all of you, obviously, right? It's not the same for, you know, I don't, it definitely is not the same story for all of my Taurus or anyone dealing with Taurus. All right, next sign. Let's go into Gemini. My Geminis, rising sun, moon, Venus. Um, I'm, going to go, I'm going to go into your sex language with this person. You already know this person. Okay, so in, I don't know how, but you know this person, all right? Then I'm going to go into your connection. What is next in your connection with this person? And then I'm going to go into your spiritual connection. What spiritual connection do you have with this person, if you even have one? Um, most of us usually do have one. Hierophant and the Strength card. So the Hierophant came out in the reverse. The Strength card did not. Um, so strong Taurus energy strong leo energy if that means anything to you so i'm sensing here somebody here is um either a teacher um a philosopher um an educator well i said teacher right so it's from some form of educator um even um public speaker of some sort um you know, and, and it doesn't have to be at a, at a mass level. You guys could just do it in your community. You know, you, you, yeah. 
but some of you may have like a, a really high following or you know a platform where or a a a you, you know you work at a company or um you work for the school system or something like that um where um you talk you have to talk like i'm sensing here some but that that's such a gemini energy anyway <laughs> So somebody may have really strong third house placement, but I'm sensing so much communication between you two. Like, you know, so a lot of you may talk back and forth constantly with each other, like back and forth communication, whether it's through phone calls, text message, WhatsApp, whatever. There's a lot of communication between you two um, with the hair font and the strength card here. <clears throat> um, someone here, um, when it comes to the sex language, um, <laughs> okay, so bear with me. Somebody here really likes doggy style. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so a lot of you might have already had sex with this person and somebody here likes it from the back. Ooh. It's, but it's a control situation. Like somebody here, this one or the other, I said, it could be both. It could be one or the other. Like somebody here likes doggy style and or um, fellatio, oral sex. Um, but the problem, not, it's not, it's not a problem, obviously. It's not, it's never a problem. <laughs> but the situation here is that someone here, could be both of you, could be one of you, likes to be in control it's that control factor like you know having somebody you know um go down on you it's a sense of control there is a sense of control right because you're making you're pleasing the other person at least that's how i see it as a scorpio <laughs> damn scorpios and their control issues um or, you know, you know, it could be um, like the doggy style situation, you know what I'm saying? Like it from the back side, but it's a sense of control. Like it's like, you know, somebody here just loves that control um, when it comes to the bedroom. For those who have not had sex with this person, I'm letting you know that's how they are. They love to, they love some form of control in the bedroom, okay? All right, okay now. All right, so let's see what's going on next in this connection. What is going to happen next in this connection? All right, so I have the Two of Swords in the reverse, Four of Pentacles, and Six of Pentacles. So strong Earth energy, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be. I also see Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Um... Somebody here may be a hairstylist. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Um, or a, um, what do you call that? Um, somebody that's in cosmetology that, you know, um, either makeup artist, um, you know, maybe um, nail technician, hairstylist, like I said. Or, um, yeah. But, um... It doesn't have to be for all of you. Um, so I see a, um, like a, a halt between this connection, unfortunately. Um, I think Gemini's, um, there is going to be a period where there's not going to be a communicating like there's no communication between you two or there will be communication but you won't be seeing each other i don't know why um because i feel like it's different stories so it could be because somebody moved away um and you won't be able to see that person for quite some time it could be because they're going through something personal and you won't be able to hear from that person for a little bit but just be patient is what i'm hearing with this person because this person really still wants to be with you doesn't want to lose a connection they don't want to lose a connection with you at all at all um 
some of some somebody here may be going through a spiritual awakening also is what I'm hearing um and they may be in their heads a lot you know um and if it's not a spiritual awakening, it's something, there's something going on in your personal life. Could be finance, could be family, career, or, you know, whatever. But I do, I'm so unfortunately with the Two of Swords in reverse, I do see, like, the connection is going to go to a halt. Um, just for a little while, just for a little while. So just be patient with this situation. It has nothing to do with you. Some of you may, I, I had this energy for Taurus, so I don't know. I feel like it was Taurus. I can't remember. Pretty sure. I have only done Aries and Taurus, so it has to be one of those two signs. Um, but they had like a similar energy. Like time moves, I was saying time goes by so slowly. All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, let's find out what is your spiritual connection with this person. What is your spiritual connection with this person? <sighs> All right. Um, so I have here the six of pentacles again, interesting, came out two times. Six of pentacles um, with the high priestess. Yeah, wow, some of you may be dealing with Taurus. Taurus had the same position here, high priestess. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So you two definitely have some, some form of spiritual connection. It's not even a joke. Wow. I said somebody here may be an educator or a teacher um, or deal with children. Um, I see that with the Six of Pentacles. Like, I feel like your life mission... Um, or one of your life mission is to help when I see these handprints here reminds me of children but I did say somebody here could be in the education system or a public speaker um, an influencer um, but I feel like young adults or children or both are like that's like your life mission is really to influence the mass um, in some shape form or other I don't know how um, but I'm sensing younger generations for sure. Some here, somebody here may have a strong water placement, very strong water placement, um, especially like a water moon placement. So Scorpio moon, Pisces moon, Cancer moon, doesn't have to be, but somebody here has strong water placement. Somebody here could also read minds. Or you guys have a telepathic um, community. Like you, you have a telepathic um, connection with this person. With the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Um, I don't sense past life too much. I'm not saying... I'm not saying all of you don't have a past life with this person. I don't sense it too much. I don't know why. Maybe because you've only had one past life together and was like, who knows when. But, um, you know, I, I don't like if you've had a past life with this person, it, it wasn't repetitive. I feel like it was just like this one time. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm actually sensing that more than anything. Like if it was, if you guys have a past life together, it's just, I just see like, it's so vague. I don't know why is it so, I'd say very, um, I don't really feel the energy too, too strongly for whatever reason that may be. Um, I 
I'm really sensing telepathic communication between you two. Um, yeah, let me tell you something. But I don't know if you've tried this with this person or not, but I'm telling you right now, you literally could talk to this person in your head. You could, I, I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I know when people hear, you know, what I could talk to my person, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, you know, without saying a word, you know, people kind of like look at you like you're crazy or whatever. It doesn't exist or you only hear that in movies or whatever. It does exist. Um, <clears throat> you know, I guess practice makes perfect. Um, you should try it is what I'm saying. Like you two should really try to read each other's thoughts. And see if you're right, because you two do have some form of telepathic. Um, but I didn't I say that earlier, you guys? I said that from the very beginning in the set, and when I took out the sex language um, first part of the reading, I said you guys have some form of somebody here has very strong third house placement, or the energy between you two is very third house, and third house is all about communicating interesting so that's your spiritual connection with this person i love it i freaking love that <laughs> all right <clears throat> i need to get my shawl here because it's getting cold <sighs> and my throat is still bothering me a little i'm getting over cold here don't mind me Love that, Gemini's. All right. Um, let me sip some coffee. <laughs> coffee, Leonora. You gotta have to have coffee. Why can't you just have tea? All right. So, um, what's next? I have um, Cancer. Cancerians, how are you? How are my Cancers? villain cancerians you're more than welcome to look at your rising sun moon venus placement i'm going to go into your sex language with this person um then i'm going to see what's next in the connection And then after that, um, I'm going to go into your spiritual connection with this person to see if you have a spiritual connection with this person. All right, so let's see if this resonates. So your sex language here, interesting. The sun with the seven of swords, strong Leo placement um, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm saying here. It sense that you guys were together and then separated with the sun card and the seven of swords. Like there was... You know, this beautiful connection between you two. And then you guys separated. Um, different stories for all of you. Obviously, I don't know why. But there is definitely a history between you two. Um, this person. You guys miss each other. I think that you guys, you know, really thought about each other and missed each other during the separation. Whatever, how long that may might have been. I don't know. Could have been... A month could have been a year could have been more but um while you two were separated I mean wow you guys never forgot about each other I mean we hardly ever forget about people anyway especially if they were very significant in our life or made some type of impact in our souls um, but um, you two for sure have that you know in common um, as far as your sex language with this person, some of you obviously, like I said, you work together, so you definitely have had intimate relationship with this person. Um, and then maybe for a small group of you, you guys are just friends. Um, but nothing went from there. Like it just, you guys, I don't know for whatever reason that may be, nothing happened, nothing developed from the relationship. Even though you do have a history together, nothing developed from the relationship as far as sexual 
relations or a, um, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend type of situation or whatever the case may be, or, you know, it, maybe it did develop, but, you know, it didn't go any further than, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend or sex with, you know, friends with benefits, casual relationship. I, I don't know. You know that more than me. But um, whatever the case may be, during this breakup, you guys, or the separation, you guys were so, you're still, you guys are very close to each other. Let me tell you something. There's a bond between you and this person. Somebody here may love horses or have a connection to the horse, like a horse spirit animal, uh, you know, animal spirit. It doesn't have to be. But um, <clears throat> the sex language between you two is... Um, I want to say intense with the seven of swords. It's pretty intense. Somebody here is intense. I feel like it's both of you. Um, there is, um, I, I, I can only come up with that word. I don't know why Cancerians. Intensity. There's intensity in the relationship between you two. Uh, when it comes to passion and sex, love, especially love, you guys have a very intense love connection. It's not even a joke. And it's so interesting because I said some of you were separated and got back together. You guys have a history together. You guys can't, and I, and I did say you guys miss each other. You can't, you can't forget about each other. You guys were, there's something about this connection that um, is going to be long lasting or um, you, if this is like round two for you to, for you, for you two, like round two <laughs> or round three for some of you, you know what I mean? Um, as far as, um, you know, um, coming together. A lot of you have had sex with this person. A lot of you. I, I'll be shocked if you didn't. But, like, if you didn't, and, you know, I am maybe speaking for a couple of you. If you didn't have sex with this person for whatever reason, that may be, like, physical contact. It's because um, somebody here might have been in another relationship. And they didn't believe in cheating. Or they didn't want to cheat on the other person or something like that, you know. Um, or you guys couldn't have sex for whatever reason. Um, maybe because you guys live in two different parts of the world. All right. Um, so that's, that's that. All right, let's see what's next in this connection. So interesting, I have the world here. Um, yeah, so some of you may live at a distance, but, all right, so I have the two of swords, the two of cups in the reverse and the world card. <sighs> 22, the year 2022, interesting. See, with the Two of Cups here in the reverse, somebody's trying to come back. Somebody's trying to come back. It's like not even a joke. Um, I don't know if you're accepting of this person, you know, vice versa, if it's vice versa, but... Um, I feel like for some of you, you're not accepting, like you're not accepting this person back in your life. Um, yeah. Your, your next, what's next in this connection? Like what's going to happen next in this connection is, um, And I, I, I'm sensing an argument or a disagreement, um, definitely passion. Like, I'm sensing emotional turmoil. Um, f somebody here has, like, inner emotional turmoil. Um, like, I'm, 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 like, it, like, I'm seeing a vision of a, a, 
a um, water boiling in the pot, you know, like it's bubbling up and that emotion is um, like that water is the emotion, you know, boiling in that pot. Um, so I feel like somebody may have like some type of outburst, you know, an emotional outburst. Um, wow. So look out for that energy. I don't know who is it going to come from. Could be mutual. I sense both of you going to be screaming at each other. But I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm saying screaming, you know, and being dramatic about it. It doesn't have to be that dramatic. But um, you know, somebody here may ignore the other person while the other one is screaming. I don't know. I honestly sense an ending for a lot of you. Like there's going to be an ending for a lot of you. Um, but I also, I also see for a few of you, and this will make sense, especially if you have water in your chart. In Cancer, obviously you have water in your chart, so what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Um, because I see water in all three of these cards. Um, but um, you're going to be in a new relationship. Like there's going to be an ending of an old relationship and a beginning of a new relationship. Um, I hope that makes sense. Because I, I know, I feel like there's, you know, some of you may resonate with some part of that. And some of you may may not resonate with the other part of it so whatever just look at your other placements to get a more in-depth message but with the world card here i do see like an old relationship ending and a new one starting okay all right let's see what is your connection with this person if this is resonating what is your spiritual connection <clears throat> something so soothing about shuffling these cards there's some cards that i love touching and feeling <laughs> and shuffling and the black tarot is one of them all right <laughs> so i have the page of wands and the page of cups two pages see this is what i'm talking about conflict It doesn't have to be for all of you, obviously, but I feel like, you know, I, I, I mean, I opened up the reading Cancerians with like separation, like you guys are, you know, going back and forth with each other. Like there is a history between you two. Okay. Like I'm over it. Um, some of you may share a child in common with this person, not for all of you. Um... And I'm also seeing here, like with the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups, it's two people. Like, I feel like for some of you, you know, like I said, there's an ending to some a relationship and a beginning to a new one. And I see it, like I keep seeing it. Like an ending to an old relationship. A beginning to a new one. And listen, it could be the same person for some of you. It could be the same person. You're ending a relationship. I'm sorry, you're, you're, um, interesting. I said ending a relationship. Some of you may be ending a relationship to go back to this person, but, um, you might have, um, you know, ended the, the connection in the past and then now you're back together. So, yeah, you know, and I saw it again with the two cups here, um, the reverse. Anyway, there, there's a history between you two. And, um, all right, so let's see what's going on. What is the spiritual connection between you two? Some here, somebody here may have a very strong earth placement. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be, but I'm sensing that strong. Um, even Leo. Leo. 
some of you are um, have a connection to Atlantis or Lem Lemuria. I kept saying water, right? I was like, somebody has a really strong water placement. Um, and I feel like somebody here with the Page of Cups have a, a, a history with Atlantis. Wow. Um, if you do have a history with Atlantis, you guys are old souls. Very old souls. I don't know if this applies to you and this person. I feel like it does not, though. I feel like it's one of you. One of you have a very long ass history on this earth. The other one, not so much. Both of you um, have different energies. I can't, like even though these are two pages, right? You would think they would have the same energy, but you don't. You guys have two different energies. Um, there is no spiritual connection between you two at all. Because somebody here is very materialistic and the other person is not. The other person is more um, on a different level of spirituality. And I'm not saying materialistic people are not spiritual. I'm just saying like, if you're too grounded on earth, Meaning, you know, if material possessions are a big thing for you and it's an important part of your life, for me personally, and it's only my opinion, um, I don't feel like you're on a, on a very high level spiritual journey, right? That's what I mean. Like, a, like you know, the top dog of spirituality. <laughs> because you really have to detach yourself from a lot of people in a lot of, you know, um, whatever the earth provides, which is, you know, um, most of it, it's possessions, material, tangible possessions. And I just feel like somebody here is very close to those possessions while the other person is not. The other person is more on a higher level of spirituality and in a higher level of frequency to the point where, I mean, God, their ancestors are from, from Atlantis. While the other person is more just really just connected to this earth. It's, it doesn't, it, it's, no, I'm not saying there's bad or good out of it. I'm just saying that's just the energy, two different energies that I'm picking up between you two. Um, and I really don't sense a spiritual connection, honestly. Um, you may know who I'm talking about because I, I feel like for some of you, there's two people involved here. You know, like you know these two people. And um, for some of you, it's not. It's the same person, right? All right. So that's all I'm picking up for you, Cancerians. All right. Next sign. Um, what is the next sign? Leo. My Leo. All right, Leos. What is going on with your love life? <laughs> I'm going to go into your love life um, or your, I should say your sex language. It's really what I'm going to go into is your sex language with this person. Um, so you already know this person, obviously. You don't have necessarily had to have sex with this person. Doesn't mean you had sex with this person. Um, but there is, you know this person in some shape, form or other. Okay, so I'm going to pick up energy from your you and your person what's going on between you and your person when it comes to intimacy um if it doesn't resonate you know then just look at your other placements obviously rising sun moon venus okay uh, then i'm going to go into what's next in this connection and then i'm going to go into um what is your spiritual connection to this person so i have the nine of wands and the knight of swords Uh, look at you getting down and dirty. <laughs> Somebody here may have a very strong air placement. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or fire. 
um, which is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it doesn't have to be, but I am picking up those two um, elements. Um, yeah, somebody here really likes to get down. And like, I'm not even like, listen, words. Wow. When it comes to words during, you know, your sexual sessions, your intimate sessions is a turn on for someone. So meaning somebody here likes to, you know, maybe talk dirty um, during sex. Maybe um, whisper sweet nothing in your ear during sex. I don't know what that is, but it could be both, could be one or the other, but um, it's still, <laughs> and I'm looking at these two ladies. <laughs> oh God, I'm looking at these two ladies and they're like astonished by the, your behavior. Both of you have like these, this sexual behavior between you two. Like, it's like, they're like, what the fuck is going on? Um, what are they doing? Who does that? Unless you're getting paid, you know? But um, <laughs> that's the sexual energy between you two. Um, small message, just a small message. Um, it's not going to apply for all of you, but I am seeing a father figure here that might have passed. Could it be a grandfather? Could be a guardian? It could be your father. I do see someone here that passed, like a father figure that passed. Your father figure, this father figure, this ancestor, is very much in the connection between you and this person or your dating life. Like, like I'm seeing it here. You see this person in the back just passing through? And like this animal kind of reminds me of like a spirit. And I, no one's seen, no one is paying attention to the spirit. No one, like, the and I don't know. I can't explain it. But it's a very transparent um, energy. I don't think people from the physical world could see this ghost, right? Most people can't. Um, I don't think you guys can. You know, if you do, you do. If you sense the energy, you sense the energy. But, like, most people cannot see this pe passing spirit. You're somebody here has a, a, a father figure who's very much in either like into this connection, meaning they're for it or um, they're, you know, they're in your life um, when it comes to like, they're very interested in your dating life, like your dating life or your relationship with, you know, people, intimate people, people that you're, you know, you're connected with very strongly, you know, not just, you know, friends. I'm talking about like lovers spouses um stuff like that um they're in like involved um they they're looking out for you basically right they're there to look out for you um but that's a re really strong small message it's not gonna apply for all of you um anyway moving on um your sex yeah i mean that's uh, you know what that's the only two messages i have honestly yeah i don't see anything else I do see that somebody here um, really loves the other person. I, yeah, like I see someone here just like, you know, like this person, this other person, whether it's you, Leo, or the person you're dealing with, um, they really care for you. They really love you. They have this like amazing um, heart. I see it here with the nine of wands and they'll, they'll do anything for you. This is a person that will do anything for you. Interesting. Cause I said that your ancestor really approves of this, this relationship. I kept saying that, right? And I feel it's because this person is, um, whoever you're dealing with, this person has a very strong, um, like, like I'm sensing vibe to them. There's a vibe to them that um it's almost supernatural or um um 
just caring. They really care for you. It's hard to explain. But I know that this person will do anything for you, you know? Like, that's the energy I'm picking up. All right, I hope that made sense. Moving on. So let's see what's happening next in this relationship. What is going to happen next in this relationship? Um, I have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I got Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. So strong earth or fire energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again. So um, the Three of Pentacles came out in the reverse. Interesting. Some of you are single with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Like you're single. You're not really connected to anyone. Um, you know, at least seriously, right? Um, but I do see that you have your eyes on someone with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. There, You have your eyes on someone. Someone has their eyes on you. And you've communicated with this person already. A lot of you already could. So what's next in this relationship? For those who, who know who I'm talking about, because obviously this is a reading for people that you already know. Like you're here because you're interested in a person and you know who I'm talking about. Whether it's a crush, a friend, a co-worker, an ex, you know who I'm talking about, right? I just feel like um, a lot of you are single. Like a lot of you are single, ready to mingle. And um, you have your eye on someone or someone has their eye on you. Could be mutual, could be one way. But um, what's going to happen next in this, in this connection is, in I'm hearing an attachment. So an attachment could be a relationship. So, you know, um, there could be some form of union between you two. But I still sense casual. With the Three of Pentacles and the Reverse and the Page of Wands. Like, it's still going to be casual, you know? But it's still, there's going to be an attachment. Like, I do see an, with the Eight of Wands, there's still going to be attachment. So there's going to be communication. There's going to be um, uh, an attachment. I don't know why I keep wanting us to say that, but whatever. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm hearing. Um... This, like, whoever you're inquiring about, you guys are, um, I, there's a spiritual connection between you two. I'm going to go into the spiritual, spiritual connection part of this segment because that's, it's a three part to this reading, Leo. So I feel very strongly you guys have a spiritual connection with the page of wands. Let's, let's just jump into it. Um, because your reading was like each Part of it has some like spirit shit going on here. This is supposed to be a love reading, by the way. <laughs> um, I mean, mind you, I am going to go into the spiritual connection between you and this person, but I picked it up in the sex part of it. I'm picking it up in what's next. So let's let's get into it. Let's get into your spiritual connection with this person. I have the the ace of wands and I have the nine of wands a lot of fire energy you may be dealing with another fire sign another Aries Leo Sagittarius but um this is a lot of fire a lot of fuego yeah and I like I kind of saw it here that's not fire to you <laughs> that's a lot of passion um all right so with the ace of wands and the nine of wands wow what am i picking up from this situation your spiritual connection with this person wow all right just bear with me leos because when i get into this part of the reading it's another world right i'm not in i'm in another realm
some of you, wow, some of you may, okay, so, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's see how I could fucking word this, um, you may see your person, like, um, what is that, hologram, okay, so I'm like a hologram, like I'm sensing a hologram. You see, there's a very transparent or translucent energy here. I don't know if you could see it. There's a lot going on in this image, but there's definitely an image here, right? You see the outline, right? Um, some of you may see this person, but they're not there. But I don't know, like you either like, let's say you're at a coffee shop or whatever, um, walking or driving and you think you saw your person that you're inquiring about that you're connected to but they weren't there they're not there you know they're not there you know but you saw them clear as day or you feel them so strong that you're like you turn around and you're like oh my god they're there but they're not there so Wow, their energy is so strong, or your energy is so strong to them. I feel like this is so mutual, though, um, that you just feel their presence even when they're not there. Does that make sense? What is that called? Like there was another sign and I was like, you know, you guys have like a telepathic community, like you guys could telepathically communicate with each other. And that was their spiritual connection with you two. You could summon each other. Oh my God. <laughs> you can literally summon your person to you and they won't be there physically, but they could literally, you could talk to them. It's a form of telepath, telepathy. Um, telepathic communication yeah it is a form of telepathic communication but it's it's even more than that it's not you're not in each other's thoughts you're not hearing each other you're seeing each other the person you may you may have dreams about this person right that could happen in dreams where the person appears in your dream and you're like and you feel like it's so fucking real like the events that happened in the dream that unfolded in the dream was so real or so surreal <laughs> that um that um it shook you to the core is what I'm saying. Um, but I'm telling you too, you guys could summon each other's presence. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the what is that super there is a superpower name to it. There is a superpower name to it. It's not just a hologram. Um I just can't think of a fucking name. I somebody please let me know if you do. Especially if you watch a lot of X-Men <laughs> or Marvel. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Let's move on. Um I do see that, um, you know, both of you have this um, bond, okay, with the Ace of Wands. There is a bond between, and there's a, there's a lot of, I said, I keep saying fire, like this fire. The spark between you two can, you know what I'm also seeing? Wow, for some of you, for some of you, not all, maybe two or three of you, um, I do see um, a birth here of a baby um if you already have a child with this do you have a child with this person i don't sense you guys have a child i would have said it no yeah you don't have children with this person um you may have children with other people but not with this person that you're inquiring about um this may be a spark of a new birth so a um a baby I'm like I'm seeing the energy here right um, and the energy is very much looks like this like if you had to envision you know how the universe makes a baby and like psh, okay this baby is about to go into this person's body and it's you know it's not a, not just a baby but it's a soul right a soul going into a person's body and then it forms into obviously physical but um, yeah, for some of you, this could be your spiritual connection could be the birth of a child. Um, 
but for a lot of you, there is a, a an amazing um, bond between you two, and and it's 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 so surreal. I don't even I can't go into it any further. I'm over it. <laughs> so over it. Um, cause I, I, I want to come up with words and it's really, you know, frustrating when you can't come up with words, um, that makes sense, you know, in, 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 in that you could find in the Webster dictionary, but I, I do love the connection. All right. Moving on. Virgos, my Virgos, you can look at your sun, moon, rising, Venus placement, in case this doesn't resonate or if you need to get a more in-depth message but i'm going to go into your sexual language between you and this person then i'm going to see what's next uh and then i'm going to go into your spiritual energy what is the spiritual connection between you and this person so virgos i have um the wheel in the reverse and the strength card in the upright so very strong Leo and Sagittarius energy. Um, if that means anything to you. Um, I do sense friendship here. Like there's a strong friendship between you and this person. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. I feel like you guys have been friends for quite some time. Or you've known each other for quite some time. I, I do say, I see... Um, like, I don't see a new connection here. I see, like, an old connection. Whether you've you've had sex with this person or not, I don't know. That's a different story. I know for some of you, you have. Some of you have not. But you do have, like, a... a this is not a new connection, is what I'm saying. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. Um... However, let's go into your sex language between you and this person. For those who have... Um, had sex with this person or are curious. Somebody here has a really nice backside, like a like a back, like their spine. You know what I mean? Like somebody here really admires the other person's back. You know, I don't know what that is. Like people have like weird fetishes, <laughs> so I don't I don't know. I don't know what part of the back do you like about this person? Like me personally. When I see a guy's back, I love to see upper strength body, right? So they have to have like a really nice upper strength body or really good posture. You know what I mean? Um, I personally love long torsos. <laughs> um, but if they don't have a long torso, because um, it doesn't have to be super long, but it can't be no Barney Rebel shit either. Um, but for those who know who, who Bonnie Rebel is, um, you know, I, I, you know, whatever. Some people like the dimple in the back. You know, there's some men that love a, a woman's, you know, back dimple. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's the right terminology for it, but whatever. That's whatever. That's the fetish that I'm seeing here. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't know why I'm not picking anything else up except that you guys have like this friendship in this connection. You know, you don't have to call each other friends, but there's definitely like this long connection between you and this person. Virgos. That's all I'm saying. Somebody here may have really nice thighs. Like, the, you know, this person may admire your thighs or your legs. Your body, for sure. This person really loves... Somebody here lo really loves the body of the other person. It could be mutual. It could be right one way. All right, moving on. What's happening next in this connection? So I have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Star card here. Strong Aquarius here with the star card and the seven of swords. Um, could be Gemini Libra as well. Um, you know, let me tell you something. Somebody wants a connection with the other person, okay? Somebody here wants a connection with the other person, like a relationship. 
Um, I just don't think that this person is saying anything about it. But look how this person is looking back at this person. And I don't know if that you know, I don't know if this is you, Virgos, or the person you're dealing with. But um, someone here wants a connection, is not saying anything about it. I don't feel like they're going to say anything about it anytime soon. Or they may. Actually, I kind of sense that's actually what's next. I just feel like somebody here is not aware of it. <laughs> like, what? You have feelings for me? You want to be with me? Seriously? Um, yeah. Just the way, you know, he's looking at her. And her back is, like her, she's busy. She's doing her thing. And he's doing his thing too, you know what I mean? Like, but he can't help looking back, right? Um... So I feel like somebody here really is going to ask for a union. I think that's what's next in the connection, Virgos. So, and, and with the star card being here, I do see somebody either is in the limelight or um, your healers or um, um, you have a talent, like a skill or talent. Could be all of the above, obviously, but interesting. So I'm picking up somebody here. Somebody here could, 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 could contact other star systems or a star system. Like somebody here has cosmic, cosmic knowledge. Um, like um, somebody here has... Um, um, spirit guides from the ethers like could tap into the Akashic records um, yeah all right let's see what the spiritual connection is between you two what is the spiritual connection between you two Okay, um, all right, these just came out, so I'm just going to grab them. There's three cards here. I didn't want to get three cards, but three came out. I could, I could handle three. Um, the World card, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Swords. For your spiritual connection, let's find out what's going on. staircase interesting um wow what is that song with bruno mars I feel like it's bruno mars that sings it the staircase up to heaven i think it's uh yeah yeah uh yeah 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 <laughs> uh i feel like a stairway up to heaven oh god don't mind me I apologize if I'm getting all that shit wrong. But I feel like, you know, you know what I'm talking. And it is Bruno Mars. I know it's Bruno Mars. I just don't know if, it's a, if that's the right name for the song with the four wands here and the staircase that I'm seeing here. And, like, I'm seeing the same type of, like, image here. Like, if you put these two together, it feels like there's, like, like a staircase, you know? I know one is, you know, like wood and the other one is swords but it you know it, you, it's like ascension there's an ascension going on here um between you two there's an ascension going on between you two a, a um stairway up to heaven i know i'm saying i don't have my phone on me i don't know why i don't get out my phone so i can't even go into the lyrics um or the name of the song but um or the correct <laughs> correct phrase of you know of the song but um what i i can tell you the energy the energy here is um ascension i said that right there is an uh, an ascending spiritual ascending energy between you two and i don't think it has happened yet i think it will happen i don't sense it's happening yet um, i feel like you've done this before I think that you two have had this spiritual connection in a past life. So I do sense a past life here between you two with the world card here. 
And I feel like you've had this spiritual connection in a past life, if not more than one past life. I feel like it's more than one past life. Could be two, could be more. But um, you two are um, meant to do something. I'm sensing maybe it could be a birth with the world card, like a child. When I see this, it reminds me of a womb. And um, I think Leo had this energy, but it was like, um, but it it wasn't the, it was um, the Ace of Wands, if I remember correctly, because Ace of Wands image had the spark. But it could be a birth of a child if you don't, and you may have a child with this person I don't, I don't know, maybe it's for a couple of you, I'm, I'm talking about an ex. But for those who I'm not talking about, you know, a past relationship, um, you that could apply. Like you're here to bring, you know, maybe a star seed baby into this world. That could be a spiritual connection between the world card and the star card here that I'm seeing here. There's a star seed baby about to be born. Um, with this connection um or will be um with the four wands and the six of swords here you know i i i, I don't what is a spiritual ascension at the bottom of the deck i see the two of swords yeah you two have a spiritual connection but it's hard to tell it's hard to pinpoint exactly what, but there is for sure a spiritual connection. And you two have shared past lives together, man. It's crazy. And I'm sensing childhood. Like uh, there's something about both of you that are either childlike or you might've met this person when you were little or younger. Um, you may share the same um, family history, meaning, um, you know, whatever family um, dynamic or trauma, maybe even. But there's definitely a, a, a spiritual connection between you two. Um, especially when I just took out the last card with the two of swords here. With the, these two swords here. You guys are very powerful together. Super powerful together. Um, and and you guys are being guided, honestly. Like, I honestly feel like you guys are meant to bring in a baby if you haven't already. And that's a star, like a star child. Like, you guys are being brought together for a reason. And like when I look at these two swords, you can, doesn't that look like a spiritual connection? It looks like the cross, right? Or, um, you know, um, um, some symbol. But it's still, see, it feels spiritual to me. All right. All right, so that was your reading, Virgos. Um, Libra. My Libras. What is going on with my Libras? Take a slip over here. All right, so what is your sex language with this person? You know, it is a love reading, so I am picking up on the person that you're interested in or that you're dealing with at the moment. Um, I'm going to go into your love language, whatever that may be. And um, then I'm going to see what's next between you and this person. Then I'm going to go into um, your spiritual connection. <sighs> I have that song on my mind now. <laughs> Bruno Mars song. <laughs> I think it's Stairway to Heaven. Oh, God, I can't. All right. So, wow, interesting. Virgo had the same thing, star, but not in this position. Um, the star card and the six of wands. So very strong um, Aquarius energy, if that means anything to you. 
Um, could be any fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if that means anything to you. Listen, star card with the six of wands. Wow, I see a power couple here. It's a power couple. Um, and I don't know what type of power couple this is. This You guys may be in the limelight. Um, you know, at least one of you are definitely is in the limelight with the star and the six of swans. That's crazy. Um, but I also see a power couple here. I'm not going to lie. Um, now, what does that mean? You guys could be very high vibrational as individuals. Doesn't have to be together. So even though I'm saying power couple, I feel like you two have such strong, so much to give, you know, and so much to um, share. I, with the world or with your community um that when you two come together you are like a power couple if that makes sense um as far as your sex language with this person somebody here really likes someone's derriere i feel it's mutual because <laughs> he's looking at hers she's like you know trying to find out where his is at like well, let me see yours let me see yours i don't know I know you guys are into each other with the six of wands. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. With the six of wands, you guys are into each other. And with the star card here, I feel like your sex is very healing. Wow. First time I'm getting this. Um, first time I'm getting this today. And this is beautiful. I love when, you know, anything that has to do with healing comes up because there is such a thing as sexual healing, right? That's what Marvin Gaye said. <laughs> he sang it. He said it. I can say it, but it's true, you know? Um, and that's your energy between you and this person. You know, I feel like you two heal each other through sex. It's not a joke. It happens. People can heal each other financially, spiritually, obviously medically physically but um you know you two heal each other through sex there is sexual healing between you and this person um let's see what else i could pick up wow <laughs> you might have just recently had sex with this person by the way i'm seeing that like yeah you guys may be may have an ongoing sexual relationship so you may be in a relationship with this person like i'm seeing you're already in a relationship with this person libra's um, if you're not, you're not like, I, you know, if, if this is like, you know, Leonora, I have a crush on someone, but I haven't had sex with them, then you will be soon. You will are going, you're like, that's, that's coming in very strongly. But when I see this star card, I'm going to go a little graphic. So don't mind me. Right. Um, this person may have an accident on you. <laughs> oh God, Leonore, grow up. Um, do you see that? See the jizz? It's not really an accident, right? You know, it's not an accident. I'm calling it an accident. Anyway, moving on. That was hot. All right. Um, so let's see what's happening next in this connection, Libras. So I have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I have the Nine of Wands and the Knights. Sorry, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. So strong air placement, right? Um, maybe dealing with another air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong fire, Sagittarius, especially with the Knight of Wands. Um, but it doesn't have to be, could be Aries, could be Leo, if that means anything to you. Um, my similar swords came out in a reverse. Um, something about winter. I feel, honestly, somebody here may be a, I'm hearing accusations like being accused of something I don't know what that is I, I yeah and it's interesting because the nine of swords is right next to it so um like I'm hearing accusations like somebody may be accused of something I 
I don't know, it could be a lie, it could be accused. Of, but I'm hearing accusations, so I don't feel like it's 100% true. Or, you know, there may be some type of miscommunication with the Five of Swords and Nine of Swords. Um, and somebody here may be worried about something, but they, there's no need to worry. But the Seven of Swords came out in the reverse. It didn't come out in the upright. So I, I just feel like, you know, somebody here may have the idea that someone may be in another relationship and they're not. So they may get accused of that. Somebody here may get accused of, um, you know, um, of lying and they weren't lying. It was just a miscommunication. Somebody here may get accused of that, you know, like that type of energy. Um, so I do see that. I, either it happened or it's happening. But, you know, this, I am in the energy of what's going to happen next. So that may happen um, where somebody may just be all in their head. And there's really nothing for you to worry about. Not not with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, you know, I expect that energy to happen, Libras, whether this is this person is blaming you or you're blaming this person that I don't know. But I do sense it has to do with another person. Like, I almost sense, because with the Knight of Wands being here very strongly, I feel like somebody here just may, they may have a reputation of being a playboy or a playgirl, or they have a reputation of, um, I don't know, I, I'm hearing reputation, or it could be just another person. Like, this is maybe a third party, and it could be, um, like, you know, um, you know, a male friend, female friend, an ex, I don't know. But, you know, like, there's, like, I'm, that's kind of like the energy that I'm seeing between you two as far as what's happening next. So, and, and honestly, it also tells me that somebody here is really into you, Libras, you know? Because for this person to have this type of energy and like, God, you know, I hope my Libras are not you know, having sex with someone else, you know, it's coming in very strongly, but I'm just letting you know, Libras, vice versa, if it's vice versa, there really is nothing for you to worry about. I hope you don't really accuse this person without proof, <laughs> whoever I'm talking to. All right, let's see what your spiritual connection is. What is your spiritual connection with this person? Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it out of this world? You know it's going to be out of this world. Because I'm using my black tarot. It's not a joke. I'm not playing around today with my spiritual connection. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So I have five of wands, seven of wands. Interesting. So very strong Aries Leo. You may be dealing with an um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, I saw Aquarius earlier and I saw Gemini um, and Libra. Right? I said that, right? Anyway, whatever. Fire, air sign. <laughs> Fire and air sign is strong here. Wow. What the fuck? Listen, you guys have enemies. And I feel like, I feel like the enemies are either because you two are together or I feel like they're enemies because it's like, it's like individual. Like, in, like you just have, Libras, this could be you where, you know, people are just jealous of you with the five of wands that like you get the, this jealous, you know, energy, no matter where you go, what you do. You know, and I don't feel like you're, I, I don't, I, listen, it's either somebody's jealous of your union um, and or jealous of you. Do you know? I'm sensing that very strongly. I feel like that's always happened. Like, I feel like if it's not you, it's your person. But I, I almost feel like, I don't know, I'm sensing both of you together. Didn't I say power couple earlier? Yeah. I said, I said you and your person could be like, they have, you have the energy of a power couple if you're not already. Um, did the seven of wands here? Yeah, see, this is crazy. All right, so you ready for this? 
your past life, um, all you did was fucking fight for what's right. You fought for um, justice. You fought for um, um, freedom. I'm telling you right now, this is your past life. And I feel so strongly um, that it could be, because um, I'm going into your spiritual connection with this person. So I almost feel like both of you share that in common. Where you come from a past life, whether you did this together or separately, that I don't know. But you have this, both of you have this common connection, this spiritual connection, right? Where you are, you guys are ready to f fight for what's right. Um, the truth, I'm hearing the truth. The truth has to come out. Somebody here may have a strong Sagittarius. I did say Sagittarius earlier. Or a very strong air placement, right? You may be dealing with uh, another air sign. But, um, yeah. Wow. Like, you... Like, you know, your job here, I, I feel like it, it, I feel like you're continuing this energy, you know what I mean? So you're picking up what, where you left off from your past life. Like, you know, I'm seeing the vulnerable here, the weak, the sick, those that can't fight for themselves. And you're here to go to war for them. See that? Isn't that beautiful? I love my black tarot cards. This is your mission, either with this person. I Listen, if it's a spiritual connection, it's with this person. That is your spiritual connection with this person, is to fight. And, you know, like I see it here, even with the Knight of Wands. It's, there's a Knight of Wands ready for battle, you know? Um, yeah. You don't put up with fucking unfairness. That's not your thing. Like whatsoever. And um, I feel like this person too. Like this person. Um, like I'm sensing a sad energy. Either from you or this person. But somebody here gets really, really sad. They get into this really dark period. Like this dark. Like I'm, I want to say a dark hole. Or a dark cave. And they crawl into this dark hole. Or this dark cave and they stay there but you know it's like because they're processing their emotions or you know they're going through some type of metamorphosis you know people when they go through metamorphosis either spiritually or um, emotionally or physically I don't know whatever psychologically they um, but most of all spiritual um, they um, they remove themselves from society you know so to speak and they crawl into this dark hole this dark space within themselves very much so like a hangman energy or a hermit energy you may be dealing with a virgo or a pisces so you may have that in your chart but um yeah you have a very strong spiritual connection with this person and it and it has a lot to do with um like freedom fighters. You ever heard of freedom fighters from the civil rights movement? Actually, freedom fighters came before this, the civil rights movement. There was such a thing as freedom fighters. And these freedom fighters were, you know, a lot of them were killed, you know, but their their mission was to fucking prove a point. And they were, they came from all types of, you know, walks of life. They were rich, white, black, poor, like young, old, you know, they came together to fight for one cause. It didn't, it didn't matter what skin color they were or what type of background they were from. They were there to fight for a cause. And that's what I see with you two. A spiritual connection with you two. With the five of wands and the seven of wands. All right. I love that. I, listen, I have a very strong Aquarius placement. And I am all about What? You know, because Aquarius, you know, which is the star card here, represents, um, you know, humanity, fighting for humanity, group consciousness. And um, 
in the future. So you may have that in your chart. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but anyway, love that connection. Really love that connection. All right, Scorpio. My Scorpios. Hi, Scorpios. Scorpios, I'm going to go into your love reading. Right? This is a love reading, whether you're into this person or they're into you. I don't know. But you know this person. You know this person. This is not someone that you don't know. Um, in some shape, form, or other, you know them. They know you. So let's see what is your love language between you and this person. Then I'm going to go see what's next in this connection. And after that, I'm going to see what is your spiritual connection with this person. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. All right. So I have the magician and the knight of swords. So, um, Mercury energy, so Virgo, Gemini, strong Gemini specifically with the Magician and the um, Knight of Swords. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but the energy is there. So, Gemini. What can we say about Gemini energy? But Geminis are very playful. I feel like Gemini is one of the most playful signs in the Zodiac. I feel like you two have this very playful sexual language between you two. With the Magician and the Knight of Swords. Like this very strong, um, like a very, like, um, what do you call that? Um, like it's a light energy. Like a lightweight. Like, um... What am I trying to say? Like, it's fun, you know? It's not stressful. Like, your sex is not stressful. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Have you ever been in relationships, my Scorpios? Or anyone dealing with the Scorpios? Have you ever been in a relationship where it's just like the sex is like stressful? It can be stress. It's not, it, it could be stressful. Whether you because you, maybe you're not into that person or you're not sexually attracted to that person or they just like turn you off in some shape, form or other. But it, it can be stressful. With this person, it's not. With this person is like very playful, very lightweight energy. Do you know what I mean? It's not heavy or dull. Okay, I don't know. I hope that made sense. It's um it's 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 pleasing. You guys please know how to please each other. with the magician and knight of swords in any way possible i mean wow you know i have the ma magician here so with the magician here we have the ace of cups the ace of wands the ace of pentacles the ace of um swords and um you know you guys make it fresh and new you know every time and and you may bring different you know um energies to 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 your sex life you know um maybe you guys are you know intellectual intellectual intellectually into each other <laughs> you know what i mean um I, I like to call it mind fuck mind fuck so it means that you know you two are into each other's minds right there's something about this person with the ace of swords here that you know really turns you on gemini's you know, I had mentioned strong Gemini energy. Now, I'm picking up on Gemini energy. Whether you have it in your chart or not strongly, it doesn't matter. But the energy is there. And Geminis, you know, with Gemini, you really have to turn them on mentally. If you are some boring person, and I'm not, you know, I, I, I don't know what boring is to you, right? It, boring could be different for everyone. But, um, you know, it's a matter of perspective, I guess. But... You know, you and this person are very turned on. Like, you could turn on each other on mentally, you know? You have this, you know, stimulating conversation, you know, that you have between, you know, whether it's sexually based or not. I don't, I don't really know and I don't really care. But you turn each other on mentally. With the Ace of Wands here, the sex is passionate. The sex is, the sex is hot, okay? I don't have to go any further. With the Ace of Cups here... 
um, you know, I feel like there's mutual respect and love and admiration between both of you. And with the Ace of, um, um, what is the, what's the next one? Pentacles, right? Ace of Pentacles. Um, wow. So Venus and Mars. You two have this balanced energy between each other. This balanced, grounding energy between each other. Yeah. Like you just get each other, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So that's your sex language um, between you and this person. I hope that made sense. Let's see what's um, happening next in this connection. Oh my God, Scorpio, you're... You're here <laughs> two times. <laughs> Scorpio, you are in a house. What? I got Scorpio card, which is a death card, right? I got King of Cups, which is also a Scorpio card. Um, and then I have Six of Wands. The Six of Wands came out in the reverse, which is a Leo card, but it could be any fire or water sign. So I got strong fire and water here. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, my six of wands came out in reverse. There's something that somebody is not seeing or appreciating. This could ha happen in the past. I feel like it's more of a past energy than future energy, though. Yeah, it's definitely past with the with the death card here. Like, I feel like in the past, somebody here didn't appreciate the other person. So you two have a, um... You guys known each other for quite some time. I don't know. Maybe you guys met each other last year. Maybe, you know, when you guys first met each other, um, it wasn't that serious. Like I'm sensing with the six of wands and the reverse and the death card. Like it was like a casual relationship. Maybe you guys, it just didn't work out. Maybe you guys did have a relationship and it didn't work out, right? Um, but I feel like there's a newfound appreciation, right? Newfound appreciation with the king of cups here. And the King of Cups know it. And I love that the King is here. You know what I'm saying? It's not a page. It's not a knight. It's a fucking King. So this King knows it. Um, whether it's you, Scorpio, um, or somebody dealing with a Scorpio. But somebody here is aware of the, um, um, the beautiful connection that you... I, I'm hearing like you should have had. Like, you should have had a beautiful connection with this person. So I don't know what happened between you and this person. But um, anyway, you're here. You know, maybe this person rejected you in the past. That could be with the death card here. You know, I, I don't know. But, um, you know, I feel like it's different stories for all of you. But um, what's happening next in this connection is very interesting. I'm sensing marriage. For some of you, not for all, with the Death card and the King of Cups here. Um, yeah. Like I'm seeing El Papa. You see El Papa there? <laughs> the Pope. Um, you know, and there's a family here. I know this is a Death card, and I know it's like, oh my God, Leonore, you're like, it's not the Ten of Cups. It's not the Ten of Pentacles. This is like a family on the ground <laughs> with the priest, but and then and, and, and Hades on the on the horse. But um, you know, like um, I'm sensing um a family here. So I, it could be marriage. You know, for some of you, for some of you, it's maybe just a connection, like a very strong connection. This, listen, this these uh, Scorpio. So the eighth house, let's talk about Scorpio and the eighth house. Um, each sign has its own energy, right? Aries through Pisces, it goes in that order, right? Starts with Aries being the baby, Taurus being the toddler, Gemini being, you know, the um, preschooler. Um, and then we have Cancer being, you know, um, the kid in middle school. Then we have Leo, the kid, you know, the, the popular jock or the popular cheerleader. 
or the goth, the gothic kid, you know, in high school. Then we have Virgo, you know, Virgo, you know, um, what am I going to do next for life? You know, what, what are my plans? Uh, what's my responsibility? You know, college, career, what's next? You know, a family. Um, then we have Libra and Libra is all about interpersonal relationships and, you know, how you get along with your spouse, your family and coworkers. And we have Scorpio, right? The eighth house. And the eighth house is a, 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 um, a complex energy for sure. It's a very complex energy. I feel like there's some type of complexity going on between you and your person. Um, somebody here is complex. Could be both of you, could be one of you, but it's a, there's a complexity going on here between you and this person. But most of all, the eighth house represents other people's money. It represents pain and pleasure. Um, it represents um, sometimes both pain and pleasure at the same time. <laughs> it represents, um, you know, your your sexual escapade. You know how how open and how open you are when it comes to your sex life. You know whether it's inside your relationship, outside your relationship. Um, you know relationships. <laughs> You know, um, but, you know, complexity, intimacy is very strong here between you and this person. Um, the occult, I'm also hearing the occult. Yeah, somebody here is in the occult um, with all these cards. The death card, the king of cups, and the six of wands doesn't apply for all of you but obviously if you're listening to tarot you're into the occult <laughs> um but somebody here is very strong like very strongly into the occult is what i'm saying not just listening or looking at you know videos but like you practice it somebody here practices it um for those that marriage does not apply um it's a commitment nonetheless Listen, the King of Cups is here very strongly in the upright. Let's see what your spiritual connection is with you and this person. Very interesting to know um, what your connection is with this person um, because there's a lot of energy going on, but you know, I would get that with a Scorpio energy. <laughs> there's a lot of, lot of shit going on here, like a lot of intense intense um energy i can only say intense energy but i want to say so much more but let's see what your spiritual connection is with this person the um, ace of pentacles and my five of pentacles here my five of pentacles wanted to come out in the, uh, the reverse i don't know why but i'll figure it out um so very strong earth energy we have um what do we have here um earth is um taurus virgo capricorn so somebody here may have that very strongly in their chart doesn't have to be um, but with the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, wow. Um, there's a purpose here. And I'm hearing purpose between you two. Um, so if I count all the Pentacles, right? Um, it's Six of Pentacles, right? Ace of Pentacles is one. And then I have Five of Pentacles. It's five. So five plus one is six. Somebody here may be Life Path Six. We are in Life Path 6, actually. 2022, 222 is Life Path 6. Very Venusian energy. Somebody here may have a very strong Venus placement. So either Venus in Taurus, Venus in Libra, um, or just Venus, in, or just like, you know, a Venus placement, like a very strong Libra or Taurus placement. But um, um, your, your, your energy between you and this person could be very like a very strong life path six um 
or something significant is going to happen between you and this person this year because we're on life path six. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. And I sense this is very spiritual. I feel like, honestly, to tell you the truth, and I've said this before, that um, this year is going to be all about spirituality. You know, 2022. But somebody here could be very spiritual, you know, just in essence. Um, I feel like somebody here has been caged up. I don't know what the fuck that means. What does that mean? What does that mean, Scorpios? Um, caged up. Like, um, but not obviously, like, literally. But metaphorically. Like, caged up metaphorically. And to me, that makes sense. Because um, when I hear somebody being caged up in a metaphorical way, especially with the events and circumstances happening now, there's some form of um, freedom or rights being taken away, taking, taking, I don't know why. So Mercury is about to go into retrograde and I always get the pre-shadow effects of Mercury retrograde. So my language sucks. <laughs> I can't even talk right. I have not been able to talk right. For the past week, I learned. I st I don't know. I, I I I think I speak English. I think I'm talking English. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I'm sensing like with the events and circumstances, and or and or in your past life, you had your rights and freedom taken taken take taken taken Leonore taken away from you. Um, so when I said the six of pentacles, there's something so balanced between you two. The relationship between you two is so balanced. So there is a definitely a spiritual connection between you two. And they, it's different. I, I'm not going to go into it very deeply because number one, it's a speed read. Number, number two, um, there's different stories for some of you. It's not all the same, but there's a spiritual connection, a spiritual mission, in a, um, a spiritual past life between you two. That I'm picking up strongly. Um, all right. Next sign, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, how are you? Happy New Year. Um, so we're going to go into your love language. Oh, sex language, You whatever. Um, <laughs> with your person, right? This is someone you know. Please look at your sun rising, moon, Venus placement. If you want to get more messages or if this one doesn't resonate. But let's see what's going on between you and your person. Oh, God. I need to take all of them out. No. Okay. Um, and uh, if it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, oh my God, Sagittarius. Just, I feel like Scorpio just had this. Yeah, it was Scorpio. I feel like it was Scorpio. So I don't know. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you already like have Scorpio placement in your chart anyways. You know, especially Mars or Venus. Um... If it's in other placement, it's in other placements, but I swear it was Scorpio. I know it was. They both they they also had the magician and the knight of swords come out here. Um, but what am I picking up for you too? So I'm gonna just take out the nine of cups here, just so that it, the energy could be a little um spread out. <laughs> Um, because I had a very strong, um, energy, right? With Scorpio and their sex language with their person. Um, so I'm going to take out the nine of cups just so that I could kind of, um, spread it out or clarify it. Um, I 
was talking about third house placement. That's what I was doing. Yeah, I was talking about third house placement with Scorpio. So you may know a Scorpio, or you have that in your chart, it doesn't matter, but um, the energy here between you two, I think you two are very content and happy with each other when it comes to your sex life. I feel like you guys already have had sex before. Like this is not, I'm not talking to people I'm talking to like I, I'm not talking to people who has not have sex. Like I don't I don't see it. Like I see sex here. Like a sex happened already. You know, because first you know for some people you know, like you know I I kind of picked up both energies. You might have had sex or you you know, but this is very specific. You have had sex with this person. No ifs ands or buts about it. I don't know what type of sex that was. Okay. Leave it in the comment section if you're if you're bold enough. <laughs> But um, but you're content is what I'm saying. Like you're content with this person and you're happy. There's such uh, an amazing um, connection with you two. And it's, it's not, it's like outside of the bedroom. So even though I'm into your sex language here, like it's even outside of the bedroom. There's an amazing connection between you two, an amazing um happy and content like i just want to say content uh <laughs> with um like you're content with each other you know you're 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 pleased with each other you know in the bedroom and outside of the bedroom um i think somebody likes it rough that's what i think Somebody here may have long hair um, or like to pull hair. <laughs> um, but I do definitely see somebody here likes it real rough. Rough and tough. Sagittarius, is this you? I know about you. All right, so that's kind of like the sex language that I'm picking up. All right, let's see what's happening next in your connection with this person. Um, I have here the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Wands. Wow, a King and a Queen. They both came out in a reverse, but then I have the Two of Wands. I see outside energy here. Um, I see an X. That's what I see here. So some of you may be dealing with an X. This could be an X of yours. Um, or it could be a third party, like some, like one of these people just don't belong here. You know what I mean? Somebody here could have a very strong fire, earth, or air energy um, in their charts. Um, doesn't have to be, but I am picking that up. Somebody here may be in business for themselves. They may have their own business. They're their own boss, um, or they're very high in the company. But um, what's next in your connection? Let's see. I, I There's something about the future with you two. I mean, obviously, I am. I want to go into the future. What the hell? But there's a very sh interesting energy. So first of all, third party. There's somebody involved in this relationship. I don't know. So for those, okay. Because it's two stories with you, Sagittarius, all right? So bear with me. One, one um, side of this message, of this reading, is that there is an ex. There is an ex. And I don't know if this, this is an ex that's outside of your relationship or you're dealing with your ex right now. So am I reading for people that are dealing with their ex and you guys, you know, rekindled, reconciled? Um... And for the other part of you, the other like the other story is um, um, there's an ex that's lingering that does not want to go away or doesn't plan to go away. Um, the two of wands here, and this person could have a very strong air earth placement, could be fire. Um, anyway, I sense friction because of this because of the x i if the x applies if it's your x 
that you're trying to that you're reconciling with or you're trying to reconcile I sense friction too like I sense um there's something about this person that um may rub you the wrong way or something I don't okay it's it's not that it's not who they are it's what they did or what they're doing so yeah this is drama And, you know, again, like there's two stories because it could be an outside factor. For some of you, it's an outside factor. And for some of you, it's inside of your relationship. I just feel like no matter what, third party is still, I'll tell you the truth, whether whether you guys are happy with each other and it's like, no, Leonore, there's nothing going on between me and my person, you know, yes, we reconciled, you know, yes, you know, we, we, we have this relationship together, but there's nothing, there's no friction going on between me and my person. Then it's an outside factor. It's an, an, and it's an ex. This third party, um, I, 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 it's, that's coming in very strongly and it's very specific for you, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and I think that there is going to be friction because of this outside factor, this outside, you know, person. Um, and I don't know why. Let's see if I could clarify. See, look at this. Five of fucking pentacles. Seriously? I can't make it up. Five of pentacles is a relationship that ended. Or that's going through some type of transition. But you're not with this person. Somebody was like, you know, somebody wants the other person, but the other person is like walking away. And I feel like an ex still wants an, uh, the other person. And this may cause the friction between you and, you know, between the king and the queen. I still love that the king and the queen is here. Even though they came out in a reverse, it shows me that there's a maturity in this relationship nonetheless. You know, whether it's an age or... But I'm not talking about age. It, I don't care how old you guys are. It's it's more so, you know, your your energy. You have a very mature connection with this person. And if, if you're like, you know, this person is not mature, then I'm not talking about you. I'm probably talking about your ex. Your ex is the immature one. But if, you're, if that makes sense to you, and you're like, yeah, my, my person and I are 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 good you know i just i'm afraid that you know what's next in this connection is a an outside energy that that may um cause problems <laughs> okay i'm just gonna bring it out and put it out there this person is gonna about to cause problems Um, I hope that made sense. All right. I don't know if that even made sense because I know there's a couple of stories I, I said. What is your spiritual connection with your person, Sagittarius? Let's see. Oh, that was fast. All right. So I have the Strength card and the Two of Swords. Wow. Um, interesting. What I'm getting from the strength card is that somebody here... Okay, so first of all, you guys cross path in a past life. You guys have like... I don't know if it's a past life connection. I don't... I want to say it's not a connection. I feel... This is what I'm hearing. Somebody here was very like some some form of celebrity or someone who was famous with the strength card here in a past life and with the two of swords i feel like you admire this person i don't know who this person was to you in a past life um i feel like this person was a um um maybe a dancer could be a dancer um, I feel like this person might have been um, a movie star. I don't know, but you admired this person. I don't know. You know this person because they were famous in a past life. That's all I'm seeing. Oh, 
God, I can't, I'm sorry. Let me just get that. I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. It, I, I don't know why I get really worked up when I hear alarms. <sighs> I can't stand it. It does something to me. Like, it needs to be turned off. Um, yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to say if there's a spiritual connection with you and this person in this lifetime, right? Fast forward to this lifetime. Um, I think there is. I think there is. I think there can be a potential to be very spiritual with you and this person. I just feel like it really depends on someone's um, evolution. So someone's, you know, um, high vibrational energy and or their state of evolution, meaning... Um, like somebody here may be an old soul. I feel like somebody here is an old soul with the strength card, but the other person is not. Now, can I be talking about you and your person or am I talking about you and your ex? I don't know, you know, because it is two different situations here. You know who had the same type of energy? I feel like it was cancer. It could have been cancer. I could be wrong. Could be Leo, but um, they had the same type of energy where like I don't. It was like an X, right? And I'm like, you know, there's two people here. I'm sensing two people here, so I don't know. So you apply it to where you know how it goes. I know if I go into your past life, some of you're like Leonore. I don't know anything about my past life. Okay, I understand, but um, if I if I had to say anything about this life with you two. I just feel like, you know, somebody here is a very attractive person. Um, it could be both of you. It could be one of you. Um, I am sensing both of you. Like, both of you are very attractive because I, I you know, like to have the king and the queen here, I, this is like a power couple. Even though it's not the same suits, it's still a power couple. And, um, and somebody here may be really good at making money while the other person is really good at you know, being logical and communicating, but there is a sense of spiritual um, being, like a sense of, of, of a spiritual um, vibration um, between, um, it's not even between you two, it's like individually, like individually you two have this, this, um, oh God, what's the fucking word? This belief you have this fucking belief about society, about religion, about the economy, about education, about the um, medical profession or, or have the health fielders, you know, um, about the, the environment. I mean, it could go on and on, but you know, like you have this belief and I feel like both of you have these certain beliefs that you believe in very strongly, these values, these morals, and, um, and in this lifetime, you go by it and you believe in it. And you, some of you may make people believe in it, you know. Um, some of you may have a very strong ninth house placement or 11th house placement. It doesn't have to be even even fifth house placement. But, um, yeah. I also see, like, somebody here, like, writing a book or um, creating content um, to talk about their beliefs, like opening up a platform could be social media to talk about their beliefs and what's wrong with this world or people or, you know, whether that has to do with, again, the environment, education, health, and so forth. So there is potential for you two to have this amazing spiritual connection. But I just think that both of you have different paths. Um, you know, I, I, all right, that's all I could say. Moving on. <laughs> Sorry, Sag. I'm not trying to be mean. 
But that was a lot. That was a lot going on there. That was a lot of energy. All right, my darlings. Let's go into um, Capricorn. Capricorns, you're more than welcome to look at your Sun, Moon, Venus placement. Okay, to get more messages or in case this one doesn't resonate, you know. Up to you. I'm going to go into your sex language with your person. And uh, and then I'm going to go, I have two cards here. Then I'm going to go into what's going to happen next with you and your person. And then I'm going to go and see if there is a spiritual connection. And what is that spiritual connection with your person? So I have the Magician. I have the King of Swords, and I have the Death card to start off the reading. Um, so again, this is sex language, love language. Somebody here may have a strong Scorpio placement. Um, I also see Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here may be in communications, they, you know, whether you... you you know, you're doing that now or you used to do it, but somebody here may be into communications um, or some form of communication, whether it's writing, um, music, um, the occult. I mean, we're hearing the occult with the death card and the magicians. Um, somebody may practice um what do you call that? Practice, um, uh, sorry, don't mind me Capricorns. It's only Mercury retrograde for me two weeks early. Um, just be in the occult, like practice some, some form of, you know, it could be spell work, could be, you know, um, conjuring, sorcery, you, you know, whatever. There's so many names. I'd give it a name. Capricorns, help me out. Um, but yeah, somebody definitely does work, okay? Witchcraft um, here, whether it's you or this person. As far as um, the sex language between you two, I, I do sense there hasn't been sex between you two. I don't see it, even though I see the death card here. But, you know, it wasn't a reverse. If you if you had sex with this person, then you had sex with this person. I don't think you're having sex with them now. Not with the King of Swords being the last energy here. I feel like it used you guys used to have sex. So I'm talking to two groups here. So either you had sex with this person, but it stopped. I feel like it was abrupt for some of you. Um, and um, for the rest of you, I don't think you've had sex. There hasn't been any intimate relationship with this person yet. Um, I think somebody here is older than the other one. Um, but the occult, man, there's somebody here is really into the occult. And I feel like, honestly, it could be both of you. Um, it, the, the language, the sex language that I am picking up between you two, and the only one that I really see <laughs> that's kind of sweet, is um, cuddling. There's something about you two always wanting to cuddle. Could be you, could be this person, could be both of you. But, you know, like pillow talk, touching feet, <laughs> playing footsies, you know, lots of kisses, you know, whether it's in the forehead, the chin, the hand, like very sensual and, um, and, and um, like taking your time, you know, like cuddling is like a, you know, taking your time you know to really you know make that person feel appreciated or loved all right let's see what's happening next in your connection so five of swords wheel of fortune and the chariot in the reverse so somebody you could have a strong sagittarius energy cancer doesn't have to be it could be um aquarius gemini libra um, what's happening next in your connection is um, a couple of things. So for some of you, I don't see it going any further. Like I don't, whatever is going on between you two right now, the energy is not going to go any further. So if you're saying, you know, do you think it's going to go to the next level? Not right now. 
Um, somebody here is not ready to commit or is not interested in the other person. Um, I don't know why. The other group of you, for the other, like the other story I'm picking up is that um, there may be a breakup. Like if you're with this person, there may be a breakup. But I don't, I see it's temporary. So no matter which group it is, whether, okay. All right, bear with me. Let me, let me do this slowly. The first group. If you're interested in this person and you've been with this person for quite some time, vice versa, if it's vice versa, I don't see it going any further. Meaning, let's say you two are together and you're, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't see anything more than that, though. I don't see, like, I don't see people here in a marriage. I see people here in, in some type of relationship, whether it's casual or not, but it's not a, you guys haven't been together for years. And if you've known each other for years, that's a different story. But I don't think you've been together in a commitment for years. Um, I just sense that it's not gonna that this person's not ready to like take it to the next level. They're not ready, right? Doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. They're just not ready. Um, for the second group of you, for those who um Like I'm sensing an argument, a disagreement, but for those who some of you may have children with this person or a child with this person. I used to live with this person. Um, but some of you have not, some of you, some of you, um, just newly met this person, you know, whether it was last year, the year before that, but not years, right? I like, I don't sense years of commitment here. I just sense a relationship, but I don't sense a, like a years of relationship. Um, there's going to be a breakup. Like if you're with this person, I think the other person is not. I don't, it's going to happen because of an argument. Not, you know, the other, the other, the first group was because somebody's not ready to commit, but this group here is because um, there's an argument, disagreement, and this is going to cause the breakup of a relationship. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That, the, I hope that made sense. That Those are the two stories I'm picking up. Um, well, let's see what is going on with you two. Um, I'm going to pick up any spiritual energy. could be past life. Um, but I just want to see what is your connection with you two. Um, as far as, you know. Your spiritual connection and what are you supposed to do. Um, either individually or with each other. I'm hoping it's with each other because that's really my whole point of, of these cards. But sometimes it's individual, you know, spiritual connection. Um, I did sense in the very beginning that somebody here is in very much into um, spiritual practices of some sort. So I have four of cups and ten of wands. Interesting. <sighs> Um, somebody here is very depressed. Whether it's something new that's happening because of this situation between you and your person, like you could be depressed because, you know, you guys are, you know, not with each other or there's imminent, um, imminent breakup or you're not speaking to each other. But somebody here is depressed about it with the four of cups and the ten of wands here. I feel like honestly it's mutual. 
especially because these two cards came out, you know, and these two cards can mean some type of regret, sadness, burden. Um, I feel like with the four cups and the ten of wands being together, it's like even like the, the energy is even heightened even more like it's depression. You know, I hate to say it like that, but. I, I see tears, I see crying, I see, um, I just, I just see somebody being an emotional wreck. And it may have to do with this relationship, you know, if it's more than that, it's more than that. But I know this relationship may be a catalyst to it, um, or a, con a contribution to it, but yeah. And I think that um, as far as your spiritual journey is concerned with this person, um, your spiritual journey starts in this lifetime, not in a past. I think it starts in this lifetime. And it doesn't mean that you, you, you guys don't have a past life connection because I am going more into a spiritual connection more than past life. So I don't know. Some of you may have had a past life connection with this person. Some of you are not. But I sense your spiritual journey starts here in this lifetime, at this moment even, um, with the Four Cups and the Ten of Wands. So I guess what is it that you want to do with this person? Do you want to work it out? Because I, there is a connection with you two. You know, when I see the Wheel of Fortune here, this is predestined outcomes. So the question is, what do you want to do with this person? Um, you know, in a spiritual sense, in a high vibrational sense, what are you going to do with this person? How are you two going to come together? Why should you come together? <laughs> you know, um, despite the energy that I read earlier, you know, something's up with you two in this lifetime that needs to make sense, that needs to, um, you know, let me use these cards. I don't know why. I feel like taking these cards out for you. Um, this is the Shamanic Healing Oracle card. I just want to see if if this is, um, because sometimes I'll get like um, different energies. You know, there's different energies for all of you, different stories for all of you. But I'm sensing with a lot of you here in the spiritual connection that you guys need to figure out if you haven't done so already is very specific. Interesting. So I have stripping illusions and unlimited possibilities. Yeah. See, that tells me a lot. It tells me that you it's not over between you two. <laughs> That's what it tells me. It tells me it's not over between you two. And it, it doesn't have to be love. You don't have to be in a love connection. You guys could be, um, you know, collaborating in something. It that I feel like the universe doesn't want you guys to end. I'm picking up that up very strongly, and I I know it's not specific, but I think you, you know that more than me, because I guess there is different stories for some of you. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next sign, Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. How you doing? Um, let's see what's going on. Um, we could look at your sun, moon, rising, Venus placement to get more information um, in case this one doesn't resonate or if you picked up some energies, but the other ones didn't resonate, you know, so just look at your other placements, you know, you're more than welcome to. So that's a three part situation. I'm going to go into your sex language or um, love language with this person. If it makes sense, it makes sense. But you know this person, Aquarius, okay? This is someone you know. This is not someone you don't know, all right? Just want to make that really clear. Then I'm going to go and see what's next in your connection. What is next in your connection? And then I'm going to see what is going on with, um, you know, 
your energy as far as your spiritual connection with this person? What is your spiritual connection with this person? So I have the temperance and the strength card. Wow, two majors here. Interesting. Very, very strong in, um, energy here with the, um, the, I have Sagittarius and I have Leo. Um, so that may be your birth chart, their birth chart, but you know, this is a very interesting situation. I think a lot of you are single. You know what I mean? I feel like some of you may be dealing with a crush or this is a casual relationship. This is not like a, um, a commitment here. Um, at least not yet. I don't know why I want to say it like that. I'll, I'll see what's next in your relationship. But, you know, with the temperance and the strength card here, I just feel like you guys are very independent. You don't really need anyone. Um, you know, whether this relationship works out with your crush or not, I, I don't think you could care less. <laughs> I feel like you're like, uh, it, it worked out. It works out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Like, I feel like that's your energy more than anything. You know, if, if, if this person comes up to you, then wow, that's amazing. You know, it worked out. If they don't, they don't. Like, I, that's just so your energy right now, Aquarius. Um, but I, you know, as far as any other sex language is concerned between you and this person, um, you know, I just honestly feel like I just keep picking up the energy of like, you could do fine all by yourself. Um, I'm not really picking up. This is the first time I, I haven't picked up like anything that's sexual. And that doesn't mean that you're not having sex with this person, because I know some of you are are having sex with this person. <laughs> okay, let's not get it twisted. Um, especially if you're dealing with a strong Sagittarius placement or a Leo placement. But with the Leo here, um, I see that, um, you know, you guys can be playful with each other. You guys um, have this intensity, you know, you guys love sex. Um, sex is like, you know, with the Sagittarius card here and the, and the strength card here, sex is important to you. It has to be good. It has to, like I'm hearing go home or what is it? Go big or go home? God, don't mind me. Aquarius, Mercury retrograde is going to happen in your sign <laughs> very soon. If it's not already here, I think it's already here. It's just direct, but Mercury retrograde it will be happening soon. And it's, um, it's kicking my ass big time. But anyway, yeah, like go, go big or go home is what I'm hearing. You know, when it comes to sex, you know, that's your energy. That's this person's energy. That's maybe this person, both of your energy. I don't know. All right, let's see what's happening next in your relationship. I'm so over you. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> I can't. All right, so I have the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. Um, wow, this is interesting. Some of you may have a spiritual practice. You make money from a spiritual practice, right? I do. I did kind of sense it here, even with the Temperance card. Um, that you're very into healing. Somebody, some of you are into healing um, in some shape, form, or other. I don't know what that is. But um, I do sense some of you make money that way. Maybe you guys met, you know, um, at a job. <sighs> or you may still currently work with this person. Um... But your connection in the next, you know, whatever, whenever you see this video, your your what's happening next between you and this person, um, or what's happening next in this connection, the letters B or J may be important to you or significant. B or J is what I'm picking up. But um, I I do see a relationship. I just think somebody here is a little scared to be in the relationship, a little um like on high alert i don't know why i want to say hi there's somebody here is on high alert 
<laughs> and I don't know why. I feel like there could be different stories. I, uh, why are they on high alert? Is this you? Is this your person? But somebody here is on high alert. Meaning, um, they want to be in this connection. They really do. They really do. With the Ten of Pentacles here, yeah. This is a grounding, stable energy. And they want to be committed. Um, but... I think this is temporary, Aquarius. I don't think this is going to last for long. Um, maybe they're intimidated by you. Um, maybe they're intimidated by what you do. Maybe they know that you know things before anyone else. <laughs> that you're psychic. Even though you don't say anything, you know things. Um, and they may be intimidated by that. Um, you may be very attractive and people notice you. Um, but you're not the type of person that gives out attention like that. You know, like you're not the, the flashy type, you know, the person that, you know, needs attention. But no matter where you go, what you do, you just get attention. And they may be intimidated by that, you know? So there is a sense of intimidation and um, being on high alert, you know? And, and not really from you per se. I don't think it's you. You know, yeah, they're intimidated by you. But I think, like, they're just, you know, maybe scared of the energy or people around you, um, who you communicate with and um, connect with, uh, you know? I don't know. Different stories for all of you. Maybe all of the above. All right. Well, let's see what your connection is spiritually with this person. What is your connection with this person spiritually? Do you have a spiritual connection with this person? <laughs> and if it is, if you do, what is it? What is it? So I have seven of cups and six of wands. Interesting. Um, somebody here may have a very strong Pisces placement. Um, like a, a strong Neptune placement. Like a, like a very strong Neptune placement. Maybe Neptune ruled. Anyway, um, or Venus. I'm also hearing Venus ruled. Neptune or Venus ruled. Um, or it could just be the energy of Venus or the energy of Neptune, you know? Um, um, a lot of you are very attractive people. Like, very like you get attention now i see why this person's a little intimidated um like you guys get attention you guys may be on the line in the limelight hype like some type of platform or whatever but um there's a reason why this person is intimidated by you and I did sense like it was more outside factors than anything else, you know. Yeah, you you may intimidate this person, but I don't I don't think that's stopping them from being in a relationship with you. They still want to be in a relationship with you. I just think that they're a little skeptical about the people around you. Um, as far as your spiritual connection with this person, listen, I think this person was your husband or your wife. Like you you guys were married in a past life. And you had children. And maybe your spiritual connection is to repeat that cycle again, especially with the Ten of Cups being here, is to have a family again, is to be married again in this lifetime. So I'm, I, I, I don't know if this happened, you know, in the recent past life or many life pa lifetimes, like many past lifetimes ago. But you guys were married to each other and you had children. You had a family together with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands. And it was so successful. It was beautiful. You know, you guys lost each other, you know, obviously and reincarnated again and again and again. But um, here you are in this lifetime again. And you're, you, you guys have a, um, like a, a mission. There is a mission between you two. Um, it could be family. It could be family. It doesn't have to be. 
Um, but since I'm in a spiritual connection here, um, I feel like it's mass, um, like mass um, communication. Something about mass communication, either with you, this person, or together, that needs to be um, mass communicated. I don't know what that is. I can't go into a specific topic. For some of you, it's spirituality. For some of you, it's finance, home and finance. You know, for some of you, it's uh, scuba diving. <laughs> Or a little, you know, maybe content creator um, or broadcasting, you know, but um, or healing. But, you know, for sure, you guys are meant to do something together in this lifetime. And it's, it's, it's spiritual in itself. It is very spiritual. Whatever it is, it's spiritual in itself because it's high vibrational. Okay. All right. I love that energy. All right, let's go into Pisces. Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Pisces, Happy New Year. Love y'all. So, Pisces, I'm going to pick up your current energy, your sex language. Uh, you know, you know this person. All right, it's not someone you don't know. You know them. All right, so check your sun, moon, rising placement in case this did not resonate. Um, if, it, if, if, if it resonated in some shape, form, or other, then perfect. If it didn't, just check your other placements, please, okay? Um, so I'm going to go into a three-part situation. So it's sex or love language between you two. Then I'm going to see what's happening next in your relationship. And then I'm going to go into your spiritual connection with this person. Spiritual connection with this person, Okay. So check your sun, moon, rising, Venus um, to get more info or whatever the case may be. That's up to you. All right. So I have the full card in the reverse and the ten of pentacles in the reverse. So strong um, Aquarius or Aries energy could be Earth, Capricorn, I'm hearing, but it could be Virgo, it could be Taurus. Um, some of you are very happy with this person's um, sex like they're the, you guys have had sex with this person there's no ifs ands or buts about it there's definitely a sexual connection between you and this person with the full card and the ten of pentacles um there has been some type of intimacy here, okay? And you guys are very happy with um, what you see, um, what you feel, what you hear, what you taste, <laughs> what you feel. Um, oh, I said that already. Um, but um, yeah, you guys are very content. Um, I don't see you going anywhere anytime soon. You're like, no, yeah, I found it, found it. This is the sexual energy that I've been looking forward to since 2020, <laughs> 2019. Um, finally found it, yeah. So that's amazing. Um, the number 10 can be significant to you. Um, I don't know why, the 10, number 10. Uh, why is the number 10 coming in strong? Or 100? 10 or 100? I don't know why that's even coming in. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, somebody here could be a Leo, but um, infinity, infinite. I don't I feel like you guys have a past life connection, but it's even it's even more than that. I'm not gonna go into it because this is not my spiritual cards, this is my sexual magic cards, but I will go into this in the spiritual connection between you two, but I'm picking up very like something out of this world that I can't really explain with these cards. But anyway, um yeah. 
Somebody here likes to look at, you know, at the other person's body. <laughs> like, they're like, be like, they're like, oh my God. It's, you know, whether it's one, you know, part of the body or the entire body, but somebody here is very sexually attracted to the other person. Um, I feel like it's both of you. I feel like both of you are very sexually attracted to each other. Um, yeah, so you definitely have had sex with this person. So I'm talking to people who's already been intimate with this person. So let's see what's happening next in your connection. All right, so I have the Four of Cups, the Emperor, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, that's a strong energy. So again, Aries energy here. It doesn't have to be, but I'm picking up Aries strong here. Could be Taurus. Um, <clears throat> I think that um, like a group of you, you guys um, broke up in the past or recently separated. I feel like some of you have recently separated. Or you guys, you know, stop talking with for a while. I don't know when, but, you know, I'm sensing you guys know each other, right? You know each other. This is not just a crush. This is someone you already been with, you know? I mean, it, you know, you could still have a crush on this person, right? It doesn't matter. But this is a an energy that... um that I feel like it's on and on and off again, or you you reconcile with this person or you want to reconcile with this person, right? Vice versa, if it's vice versa with the four cups. Um, this person really missed you, you know, if you guys were separated for, you know, however long period of time. They still held that ace of cups for you, by the way never forgot about you um with the emperor in the ace of cups i'm sorry the ace of pentacles um this is crazy i sense marriage commitment for sure it doesn't have to be marriage it could be moving in together could be you know um pregnancy be careful if you're fertile um some of you, I don't know why I'm hearing, some of you are already knocked up. <laughs> Your baby's already on the way, Leonore. Um, so congratulations for that. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know, you, what's happening next with you and your person is commitment. And somebody here really wants to commit, by the way. It's not even a joke. I, I don't know if this is mutual <laughs> or not. That I don't know. You let me know, Pisces. But somebody here wants to commit. And you're like a, a treasure to them. You're like, an, they love to explore you. <laughs> like I'm hearing they love to explore you, your personality. They love to explore um, just who you are and what you do. Like want to know more about you. You know, what have you been doing with yourself? Who do you connect yourself with? How much money do you have? <laughs> but, you know, not because they're being shallow or, you know, they're just curious. They're very curious souls. Um, even controlling. I even want to say controlling with the emperor card here. I feel like somebody here could be jealous. The jealous type here. I'm sensing. But, um, yeah, I do sense a, 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 a relationship. I do sense a reconciliation for those who are separated. And and this time it's for real. This time this this person wants to make it official. Um, you know, if that applies to you. But you know, definitely reconciliation. Um or for those who, you know, are already with this person, you know, the next level up to this commitment or to this relationship, you know, whether it's moving in together, talking about having children getting married um this person doesn't want anyone else they want you they want you you are the treasure and they're not letting go of you they are not letting go of you all right let's see what is your spiritual connection with this person <clears throat> spiritual connection with this person That was fast. 
So I have the eight, eight of pentacles, two of swords. Um, and I, I, I wanted to see what else I could pick up because I was picking up something strong from the these two cards in the very beginning. But let me see what else I could pick up now that we're here. Some of you may work in spiritual, like you have a spiritual practice or you're into spirituality. Um, some of you make, make money like that. Like, and it doesn't have to be spirituality, but you definitely, like I see you uplifting people with your words, with your energy with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, you both may do this. You may have that in common where you both have that energy of, you know, spiritually uplifting people, making people feel good. Your vibration, like I'm hearing your vibration, just you walking by, <laughs> you know, that vibration, that positive light that you have inside of you is crazy and and people feel it and when they talk to you and they or they hear you or they come around you they feel a certain special way you make them feel that way um and i feel like you two may have that in common honestly i also see that you know you may end up working together uh, like a project i'm hearing a project with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords here. I also see roots, like roots laying, like you're, you're gonna lay your roots. I don't know what that means. Could be in business, could be in family. But it's gonna, you guys are gonna lay your roots. Um, but you definitely have come together in this lifetime for a reason. There's a purpose here and there's a spiritual connection here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords here, all right? All right, love that energy. Um, all right, so that was it. That was that was, that was was all I could pick up for my, um, for the speed read. I know it was, you know, close to three hours long, but, you know, I do go through each sign. <laughs> um, Aries through Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anyway, um, you know, um, I am going to be doing a video on um aquarius so aquarius you know it is aquarius season soon so i'm going to do your birthday read aquarius soon and um i'm going to do the aquarius retrograde we have the mercury retrograde situation so i'm going to pair those two energies up together so look forward to that this month of january um if you haven't looked at your january's energy love and advice messages Please go look at them. It's uploaded. I streamed it live um, January 2nd. I'll try to see if I can leave the the link um, either on the top of the screen or um, at the end screen. Um, but otherwise, I just did it. So it's there. You'll see it. Um, and then um, that's it. You know, I, I do want to do a, a whole new segment this month. So look forward for that. Um, I did speak about it a little bit during my live on Sunday. Um, but um, yeah, I think this is the only speed read I'm going to do for the month. Um, just because I have a, a couple of things that I want to do, um, you know, for this channel. And I really want to work hard on it. Um, plus, I have other things on my plate, but whatever. Um, you know, so this may end up being the only speed read that I may do for the month. But, you know, February is coming. Valentine's Day is coming. So I, I definitely will do something really special for you guys for Valentine's Day. Um, and look out for the occult. I'm doing the occult again. The hitting occult next month as well, okay? All right. Love you guys. Bye.